Today, I'm introducing a new segment called Cooking for Strength, and we're going to make a frittata. I'm introducing a new segment called Cooking for Strength, and it's focused on cooking and meal prep designed to help make you get stronger or to help you reach any of your goals, leaner, stronger, but we're gonna call it cooking for strength because that sounds cool. Cooking to be lean, that doesn't sound as cool. So we're gonna sound cool and here's how we're gonna do it. Today we're gonna start with a frittata. We're gonna make breakfast for the next four days. This is my breakfast, so it's gonna have different ingredients than yours, but these same ideas will work for you. What you're gonna need is eight eggs uh, whisked up in a pan, a can of Rotel tomatoes and green chilies, some pre-browned breakfast sausage. I use Jimmy Dean hot breakfast sausage and uh, half a package. I've already pre-cooked that a little bit, not quite all the way through, but pretty, you know most of the way. I'm using potatoes this time because I want some more carbs with my breakfast, and some sharp cheddar cheese. And let's get started. The first step is to put your moist vegetables, in this case tomatoes and the green chilies, but uh, same with mushrooms, any moist vegetables, you want to put those in the pan first and let them simmer and get some of that moisture out, otherwise it's going to make your frittata very soggy in the end and that's not good. After you let that sit for a little bit, get the heat, you know, get the water out, then you're going to add the sausage. The sausage has already been pre-browned, so it's almost done. And we're not going to leave it in here all that long, so it's going to be pretty much done without being overcooked. So we're going to add the sausage. We're going to stir around a little bit. Then the next step is I'm going to add the potatoes. Again, pre-cooked, so it doesn't need to sit in this pan very long. So once we add the, you know, once we've got all those in there, we're going to make sure this is evenly distributed in the pan. Leave it in here for a minute or two, and then we're going to add the cheese. In this case, sharp cheddar. Once you put that in, you do not let the cheese sit for a while in this state. Put it in there and then uh, distribute everything as evenly as you can in the pan and then add your eggs. In this case, I used eight eggs. Uh, depending on how much stuff you put in this frittata, you may need to use more or you can use less. It kind of depends, you know, the eggs are going to hold the whole thing together like a pie when it's done. So you put your eggs in, use your spatula to distribute everything pretty evenly in there. And then the, pretty much the last step, you just put the lid on. The lid is what's going to keep the heat in, which is going to cook the top of the egg mixture. Otherwise, it's going to, it'll cook and burn on the bottom real bad, bef way before it cooks the top of the egg mixture, because this is very thick. So put the lid on here and let it sit for about 10 to 12 minutes. But keep checking it, just in case. I've got the burner, burner on medium heat, so... Just keep checking it, but about you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to flip it, stir it, do anything. 10, 12 minutes, come back, and it should look like this when it's done. And there should be a nice little bit of a crust. You should be able to scoop this whole thing out like a pizza right onto your pizza plate or your cutting board or whatever, and then you're pretty much done. As you can see here, uh, since it's eight eggs, you know, it's a rather big thing. I've cut it up in four pieces. So that's going to be my breakfast for the next four days. And that is the frittata. So stay tuned to Strength Cycle. Keep an eye out for more cooking for strength. I'm going to have a lot more recipes, a lot more food prep stuff on here. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to make some good food to eat. And I, I like eating good food. So stay tuned to Strength Cycle.